Today's medical centric topic is all about FODMAPs, who should avoid them and how. Ever eat something healthy and still feel bloated, gassy and crampy afterward? You might be sensitive to FODMAPs, especially if you have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Let's break down what FODMAPs are, who should avoid them and how to do it the right way. What are FODMAPs? FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monounsaccharides, and polyols. Translation, a group of short chain carbs and sugar alcohols that your small intestine doesn't fully absorb. These include fructose in fruits, honey, high fructose corn syrup, lactose in dairy, fructans in wheat, garlic, onions, Galactins in legumes. Polyols in apples, stone fruits, and sugar-free gums. When FODMAPs hit your colon, they ferment, causing gas, bloating, diarrhea, or constipation in sensitive people. Who should avoid them? FODMAPs aren't bad for everyone. In fact, they're part of a healthy diet for many. But if you have IBS, chronic bloating or abdominal pain, unexplained digestive issues, a low FODMAP diet might help you feel like a whole new person. Important: Always try this diet under guidance from a doctor or dietitian. It's not meant to be a permanent lifestyle, just a tool to find your triggers. How does a low FODMAP diet work? Step 1. Elimination. 2-6 to six weeks. You cut out high FODMAP foods completely. That means no garlic, onions, dairy, beans, apples, etc. Sounds intense, but it's temporary. Step 2. Reintroduction. 6 to 8 weeks. Slowly reintroduce one FODMAP group at a time, like fructose or lactose, and track your symptoms. This helps you figure out which ones your body can and can't handle. Step 3. Personalization. Once you know your triggers, you build a long-term eating plan that avoids only the problem foods, not everything. Low FODMAP swaps to try. Lactose-free milk instead of regular milk. Oats or quinoa instead of wheat. Zucchini instead of cauliflower. Maple syrup instead of honey. Green parts of scallions instead of onions. Bottom line. FODMAPs are gut troublemakers for some, but not all. If you're constantly battling bloat, gas, or bathroom issues, a short-term low FODMAP diet could be a game changer. Just don't go it alone. Personalized guidance makes all the difference. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.